obviously disappointed with the loss. Um, had to give some credit, you know, to UCLA coming out. They played, they played a good game. And, you know, we got seven days, and our season could be over, and we can fight for a bowl game. So I'm going to give it all this week to chase that bowl game. How much does his status hang over you guys, weigh on you yeah. guys? Um, I don't I don't worry about it. I mean, I'm older now because, you know, it doesn't affect me, but I don't think it worries the guys. At least I hope not, you know. I hope we focus on the job that we have to do and, you know, focus on getting better every day and stuff like that. You got any feeling, though, that you guys would have to win to keep in the job? Uh, no. I mean, I'm just trying. I feel like we're just trying to win to, you know, make it to a bowl game um, and, you know, maybe run Notre Dame season or something like that. So I don't think we'll focus on that. Is it, is it surreal to think at all that you guys don't win next week, your career is over? Yeah, um, it's crazy. This went by fast. Uh, definitely don't want that to happen, but uh, it's going to be on my mind this week. It's going to be working, working my butt off for that all week. I'm sure you came into this game thinking that you guys would probably run the ball pretty well. Yeah. Why don't you think it happened that way? I think they, they try to stack the box a lot. You know, they stay in base personnel a lot with, you know, five down linemen. Uh, most of the time, you know, that's why a lot of the pass was working, I guess, and we just weren't connecting on some of them. So, but yeah, they definitely tried to come out and make sure that we didn't run into much. What was the talk after the last interception? Was it a miscommunication? Um, I didn't, you know, I didn't talk to him about it. I think he, I think he was trying to throw it away. If anything, I'm not sure. But definitely don't want to. You know, I don't play quarterback, so I don't anything. just I tried to just pick him up. You know, let's go, go on this next drive and do it. How, did, how does this sort of feel to when, during your earlier days at SC when you had Sarkeesian and, and things were kind of hectic? And <laughs> you guys got the hard questions today. Um, <laughs> it's questions it's people want to know. Curious it's definitely uh, not as shaky as it was back then. You know, our head coach is stable for sure. And, you know, he cares for us and wants everything for us. I feel like back then it was more of an individual mindset, you know, mm -hmm. as among the players and stuff. And it's a little, yeah, it's different. Does the chatter around him bother you guys at all? Like he's coming off the field and someone's with like a health and time up. I'm sure. Sign. I'm sure it does a little bit, but not me. I'm not affected by it. All right, no problem.